Hi everyone! Today I would like to share how I made this macrame leaf bracelet. First, set the three base strings as shown. Fold one of the three strings of the first color, which is green, here, in half and attach it on the three base strings using lark head knot. Do the same thing for the second and the third string of the first color. Now, pick the first string of the second color and do the same thing, just from the opposite side. Do the same thing for the second and the third string. Now repeat the steps for the third to sixth color. Here's how it should appear when you finish attaching all the six colors. Here I will show how to make the first, the third, and the fifth leaf using the third white leaf. The leftmost string becomes the lead string. We will make five double half hitch knots on the lead string. Pick the next left string and make double half hitch knot on the lead string. I just made one double hitch knot. Now we will make the second knot. Repeat the steps with the third and the fourth and the fifth string. After making one row, keep the leftmost string on the side. This will not be the least string for the second row. Now pick the left string here and lay it on the other four strings. The string I'm holding now on my right hand is the lead string for the second row. Make four double half hitch knots onto the lead string.
Before starting the third row, place the two left strings on the side. Now pick the next string, which will be the least string, for the third row. We will make three double half hitch knots onto the lead string. We just finished one side of that leaf. Now we will do the other half. Pick the rightmost string, which was the last lead string, and bend it over the three strings next to it. The string in my left hand will be the next lead string. Now we will make three double half hitch knots onto that lead string. Now we will make the second row of the second half of the leaf. Pick the rightmost string and now we will make four double half hitch The knots. string in my right hand will be the next lead string. Be careful with the order of the strings you will use to make the knots. Here I am showing the order of the strings. The third string you use is the former lead string. For the last knot, make sure you try to close the gap as much as possible. Remember, the second half should be symmetric to the first half, so we did three knots and then four knots. Now we do the last row, which will be five knots. I just tilted the working board so that the knotting process is easier. The fourth string you use is the former lead string. For the fifth and the last knot of this leaf, again, make sure you try to close the gap as much as possible. I just finished the third leaf. In order to make the fourth leaf, 
we spin the board upside down. Here is how you make the second, the fourth, and the sixth leaf. Now we use the rightmost string as the lead string and make five double half hitch knots onto this lead string. We basically do the same thing as the first, the third, and the fifth leaf. Everything is just in opposite direction. Before starting the new row, make sure you leave the rightmost string on the side. Now make four double half hitch knots on the lead string. Place two right strings on the side, pick the next string, use that as the lead string and make three double half hitch knots. Just like we did for the white leaf on the other side, bend the lead string you just used on top of the three strings and make three double half hitch knots. Now use the left string as the lead string and make four double half hitch knots. Take the left string, use it as the lead string, and make five double half hitch knots to close the leaf. Now we finished making four leaves. Make the fifth leaf as the way I made the white leaf and make the sixth leaf as the way I made the pink leaf. After you finish making all the leaves, it's time to cut and melt the excessive strings. 
pick the first leaf and cut all the excessive strings leaving about two millimeter or one tenth of inch. Keep the excessive strings until you finish making the bracelet. Here I am using a lighter to melt with the heat and pressing the melted part onto the leaf where you cannot see from the front. Please be extra careful not to burn yourself or any other things. After you finish all the cut and melt steps, place all the six leaves in the center of the base strings. I place the center of the base strings in the middle of the white and pink leaf and also left about two millimeters or one tenth of an inch in between each six leaf. Now place the working piece vertically and attach it firmly onto the working surface. Now pick up one of the three base strings, pass the edge of the string into the eight millimeter bead. Before doing this, you can also sharpen the edge by using the scissor and cut it diagonally. Now use the other two base strings and make one square knot. Do the same thing with the 6 millimeter bead. Now use all the three base strings and make a three strand braid. After making about 10 centimeters or four inches of braid, finish it with an overhand knot. If you like to see another way to finish the bracelet after making the overhand knot, please check out the clip after I finish making it into a bracelet. Leave about 2.5 centimeters or an inch from the overhand knot. After finishing one side, make the other side the same way. Here's the way to make the bracelet adjustable. Pick one of the excessive strings that you cut off and we are going to make square knots. Here, instead of making the normal square knots, I made the shape four on one side only each time so that the square knots make a spiral shape. After you make the spiral square knots, for about one centimeter or half an inch, do the same thing as we did for the excessive strings of the leaf. Cut and melt. Okay, so after I finished making this bracelet, I had a second thought and I decided to add just one bead here on both ends and how I did was um, there were three uh, macrame strings so I cut two of them 
cut and melt here and then pass the bead on the last string and then melted the edge and to be honest i could have done it with two beads each but um i just didn't have enough um, um uh, leftover part because i already had cut them so um here is what i made and this is again um inspired by the bracelet uh necklace design which i learned from this book it's called bohemia macrame by when i look at you and you can see the back so that if you like to check it out or purchase you will be able to so um and then after i made this i just wanted to add another uh, bracelet and i just modified a little bit and uh, made six sleeves on uh, um, in an alternating way so thank you so much for watching and hope to see you soon